Hello everyone, this is Pete Merrick with Triplet3D and I wanted to tell you about this tutorial about using Cinema 4D in Photoshop to create a concert poster. So in this tutorial what I'll do is I'll walk you through the process of developing concept development sketches before we get started to flush out a few ideas. Uh, this is the final concept that we'll be going with and from there we'll jump into Cinema 4D. I'll show you how to pose some skeletons for our poster. Uh, at that point I will show you how to create the noose around these skeletons next, um, how to create this graveyard using cloner objects. Once we have our basic scene set up, uh, we'll jump in and create some lighting. For the most part, I'm using a three-point light setup for the scene, a main light, a fill light, and a rim light. And I'm also using one additional light for, for mood and atmosphere. So I'll walk you through the process of lighting our scene. At that point, we'll set up our render settings and export our final render. From there, we'll jump into Photoshop and I'll show you the process that I use to create the final design. So once we have our render completed and exported out of Cinema 4D, I'll walk you through the process of manipulating the multi-pass images and then adding additional content to our poster, like the headline using custom fonts, uh, adding a city and trees in the background, additional elements like clouds and uh, moon, for our poster design. And at that point, we'll get into em emphasizing these skeletons using strokes in Photoshop and a color overlay layer. Um, we'll add some additional content, like the text where this concert will be taking place. Um, I'll get into adding textures to our poster and then finalizing the poster with additional light glows for our lights and then importing the cell render. So this is the final poster design. Here's what it looks like. I'll zoom in and show you some of these details. So Cinema 4D, you can really get some really nice depth on these skeletons. And using the cell render, uh, you can make it look pretty cool. So there's some of the details for our poster. And this is what I'll be showing you how to create. So check out the tutorial. The link is located in the description for this video. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Make sure to subscribe via the link on Triplet3D's blog. Feel free to leave a comment and thank you so much for watching.